Hey, this is Ryan from WebEminence.com, and in this video, I'm giving you an inside look at Square Appointments. Many service businesses like salons, personal trainers, and therapists are looking for ways to automate the process of appointment scheduling and processing payments. Many web services have sprung up in the last few years to offer this service, and one of the many companies that offers appointment scheduling is Square, the company that started as a payment processor but is now branching into many different business services. I'm here on the dashboard of a Square Appointments account so you can see what it looks like on the back end. So this is the home page that just shows your pending appointments. And the next page that's available is a calendar. And on this page you can view your calendar with all the appointments and you can change the view uh, by day, week, month. You can also create manual appointments in here. So you can add manual appointments with uh, your clients or you can also add personal events to your calendar and you could use that to block out a time so that appointments aren't available at that time and on the calendar you can also manage calendar sync which will take you to the settings where you can sync your square appointments calendar with a google calendar so that your appointments automatically show up in your google calendar and one cool thing about this is if you were to add events to your Google Calendar, it'll actually block out time in your Square Appointments Calendar. So you don't have to worry about appointments getting booked during times you're busy on your calendar. Now you can manage multiple staff members in one calendar. This calendar is currently showing one staff member and if I was to click on one of the appointments it would take me to the appointment details. And the next tab on the dashboard is online booking but I'm going to skip and come back to that. The next one after that is services, and this is where you're going to add all your services along with their duration, price, and when you create a new service, it's basically the name, description, the duration, and time, and they give you the option of blocking off additional time at the end of an appointment for transitioning or travel. You can add a fixed price, and they have some other pricing options like free or various prices or you can just have people call you for pricing and then you can also change whether a service is available online or maybe you're gonna have it only available uh, to you in the back end when you log in to Square Appointments and then you could change the staff that is available for that service so that's the services menu the only other thing they allow you to do is edit the display order of how the services are displayed on the back end and on your front end website. The next page is called staff and this is where you would add your staff members. Uh, you're allowed one staff member on their lowest account which is about $30 per month and then they have different pricing levels which basically increase the number of staff you can have in your account. The next page is clients which shows all your clients and if you were to click on one of these it would show the details of a client, like their contact info, location, whether or not they're signed up for email and text reminders, and their upcoming appointments are also displayed. The last tab is called the business tab where you change the basic information about your business. And there are some important settings in here, like a guarantee of reservations. You can change it so that you have to accept or decline appointments or you can automatically accept them. Here's where we manage calendar sync, which I already mentioned. You can change how appointments are scheduled, whether it's on the half hour, quarter hour, or on the hour, or you can have it set according to the duration of the service. Here's a setting for how many hours an appointment must be made in advance. They have a fake it filter, which allows you basically to block off time when you're busy. And it looks like it'll just remove a certain number of your openings just to give you extra time in the day. There are some settings that they call no-show protection, which has to do with the cancellation policy and requiring payments when booking online and charging cancellation fees. Under communications, you can change email reminder settings and settings for text message reminders. And then the history just shows the history of all your, your uh, clients and appointments. So that's the back end of Square Appointments. And now if we go to online booking, I'll show you the front end look, which is uh, basically your booking site URL, which they provide to you. So you can actually 
uh, use your own squareup.com site that they provide to you and you don't even need your own website to use Square Appointments. So here's what a booking site looks like. You may be able to do a little bit of customization, but I think it pretty much is going to look how they display it. It has your uh, open times, your location, and then all your services. So your clients will be able to book uh, right here on this booking website. So your clients will select a date and time, enter their information, and they will have their payment information entered right here and book appointment and that's the entire process. So you also have a few other options for giving your clients options for making appointments. You can create a button which is just going to link people to the booking site I just showed you. You can invite clients through this interface here just by putting in their name and email and then if you have a website you can embed the appointment widget right onto your website. So here's the code you would need to add to your website and it'll automatically adjust to fit the space that you give it. If you put it in a sidebar, it'll look something like this. It'll also look about this size when viewed on a tablet or smartphone. So I'll show you what the widget looks like on one of my client's websites who's using Square Appointments. Uh, we just dropped the code right into this main part of the page here on the left. So it looks a lot like the booking website that Square gives you but it's you know dropped right into your page as a frame so your customers can do everything they can do on the booking site it looks a little bit different they select the service and then they'll see the calendar and then they can choose a time and it'll take them right to the page where they enter their information and reserve with a credit card and I should note that since Square is a payment processor uh, the payments that you take through this appointment widget will go right into your Square account. You can't link it to any other payment processors like PayPal uh, or Stripe or anything like that. It works only with the Square payment processor. They do give you the ability to create an advanced widget. So you can have different widgets on different pages uh, dedicated to specific staff members or specific services. So that's everything you need to know about the Square Appointments application. I do like it and I recommend it. It's uh, simple to use, the interface is clean, and it provides everything that most service businesses need to take appointments on their websites and process payments. The price is pretty affordable starting around $30 a month for one staff member and I believe at this time they are offering a free trial. You can give it a try to see if you like it. If you have any questions about using Square, I'll do my best to answer them. You can comment on this video. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. I'll probably be reviewing uh, more appointment booking software services in the future.